An underground truck emerges from the portal at Newcrest's Telfer underground mine with a payload of 50 tonnes of ore. Nothing unusual here, you might think. This is a scene that's being replicated across Australia and across the world every few minutes, seven days a week. But in this case, there is something special. This ore has been recovered from the stope using technology never seen before anywhere in the world. Water power. At Newcrest's Telfer operation in Western Australia, sub-level caving is used to access the upper portion of the underground ore body. Paul describes primitive stope cleaning using scrapers. The older system required at least um, a shift, half a, nearly a shift's worth of setup, and it, it required two guys, so 24 man hours, to set up. Also required either the use of the jumbo or the air leg to drilling pinholes for the cable and also to anchor the machine. Um, it was slow, so using a hoe pulled by cable wires to try and pull the dirt down, but also less recovery and um, also, I guess, the safety factor as well, putting guys more at the brow, more time at the brow, and also moving, um, moving cables as well. To improve productivity, Paul investigated other options, which included using high-pressure water jets to force the ore and spoil down the stope. Water cannons like this are widely used in block cave mines worldwide to dislodge hang-ups, and Paul reasoned that the technology could be adapted to suit the relatively shallow stopes encountered at Telfer. He discussed this with the world leaders in mining water cannon equipment, Canadian firm McLean Engineering, who manage their Australasian and African operations from their offices in Perth. First, boom and nozzle assembly geometry needed to be modified to provide more flexibility in jet operation, enabling the jet to fire downwards and also to provide a wide coverage area. Second, the boom assembly had to be redesigned with reduced overhang to maintain machine manoeuvrability in the mine. In less than a year, a water cannon modified to meet the specific demands of shallow open stoping had been designed and delivered to Telfer. What you see here has never been seen in action anywhere else in the world. 3,000 litres of water a minute at 10 bar pressure are literally driving the ore and spoil down the stope from the top level to the bottom. The jet efficiently cleans crevices and gullies, ensuring that as well as the bulky material, all the ore-rich fines are driven down the stoke, something that could never be achieved with the old scraper technology. The progress you see here has been achieved in under an hour, and the entire 25 metre stope will be cleared in half a shift, 75% less time than previously. This fully mechanised process is also much safer. The old scraper technology involved two men in tough physical labour which exposed them to the risk of injury. Well, it's made the most inefficient part of the cycle into the most efficient. Well, as with any new machine, when it first gets to site, there's a lot of scepticism about the, how, how it will work. But immediately it showed its worth and its weight in gold. Water power. It's bringing new standards of efficiency and safety to long-hole open-stoke mining.